wax and paints today, we are using floaty medium. And that's right here in the middle, the clear. It's the fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment in it. We are using um, folk art multi-surface. We'll try to get a clean bottle here. <laughs> uh, folk art multi-surface. It has a sealer in it and it goes on all kinds of different surfaces. So what I do during my uh, relax and paint uh, with one stroke is I like to share with you how to load and paint doing my technique. And I would, if you like it, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I'm on doing lives, just click the bell. And so it will let you know when I'm going to be on. Okay. Um, I've got my brushes here and these are one stroke brushes. And I want you to see how we're going to do the hibiscus. Okay. So we're going to take a dampened brush. We lay it on the paper towel. Then we come right here and we double load. Now I have a double loader tool. If you go to practice strokes at the end of the week, usually every Friday, I have a new practice stroke, but there's over 300 of them. And they help you learn short tutorials, help you learn how to load the brush, what the tools do, and all that it takes to be able to do one stroke painting. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and let's pick up some yellow on the white edge so i picked up white and i'm going to work it in into the yellow i'm going to get a little bit more medium and work that in because i'm going to be on paper today i've got white paper and so i'm going to leave this here move this there okay so the first thing i want to do is do a hibiscus with you all right so i'm going to slide up and do the first petal of the hibiscus and see i'm going to come right here and pick up more paint i'm going to come out here oh i need a little bit of white because it's not it's a little muddy looking and we want to pick up plenty of paint okay so it's, we're going to keep dipping white and grabbing some yellow now the double loader helps you to do the paint really easily. So go check out that loader that helps you double load on my practice strokes, okay? And we're gonna come get some more and then get some more medium, flatten it out. And you wanna make sure you have pretty bright color and slide right back in, okay? Come out here and slide back in. So we have a lot of dark here in the middle, which is good. Um, but I'm going to show you before I go any further. Let's go here. And I think I just shoved my brush underneath. <laughs> okay, there we are. Like, where did it go? All right. So I'm going to take um, a 16. And I'm going to pick up two colors. This is a 16 flat like I had the three-quarter flat and I'm going to let's come over here and let's pick up some teal and I'm going to go back and forth with that medium in it pick up some white there we go all right so on both sides of this before I do any more flowers I want to show you a fern so it's very tropical I live in Florida so this is kind of fun I'm going to have one over here all right so that's where the fern is going to be stroked from all right, so I'm going to come right here and standing on the chisel, I'm going to do one, come over here, and we're going to go at an angle up. All right, so we're right on the chisel. I'm going to get a little bit of medium, and I'm going to come up, go across, come up. You see that? Now, if you're really good about how much medium you pick up, and how much color. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the teal. And I'm making this like a little bit more watercolor by putting so much medium in here. All right. So now we're going to go to the other side. All right. This is just art paper. And I buy pads of it that are a little bit heavier so that they don't curl as easy. And 
you can get this great look, okay? So I should put this on here first, but that's okay. I'm going to put that there out of the way. And then I'm going to also get more white and more tail. A little bit of green. Okay, more white and more tail. Yeah, I'm starting to say, did I say the right colors? Okay. Let's bring this up for a little bit. Um, these are amazing paints. Nice and vivid. And I like that I can use one paint that will do paper, metal, glass, ceramic, um, outdoor, indoor, clay pot, every wood, canvas, anything you can imagine almost you can paint. I even paint clothing. All right, I do use different mediums for different. This is floating medium, so I might use textile medium. But it's wonderful because it's got a sealer. Okay, so all of the strokes, if you see a stroke that you're going, I don't understand how to do that, then go to practice strokes. And it shares with you. Go get the brush and say, I want to do leaves. I want to do fern. And it shows you how to do that. And if you start at the very beginning, when I started, I tell you how to use the double loaders and brush basins and tools. Okay. So now I'm going to put um, a couple more hibiscus. So um, let's do another little one. And so we're going to come right in here, make it a little bit more yellow. All right. So I'll do a little one, sometimes a plumeria, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to come right here, and we're doing wet on wet. Okay, so if you don't like a stroke, pick up more paint and go back. So I'm just looking for tropical petals, flower petals. Okay, see that green's a little wet, but it's okay. Okay. Now, let's pick up some more. Uh, I want to get a little bit of a bud. Let's pick up white and come back in here because it's got too much green left in the brush. There we go. And we'll put some green to hold that together. All right, so... Like I said, see, I'm not happy because it picked up so much green and stroke right back over that. So let's do it again. We'll put a little bit more white. White, yellow. Okay. All right, so that'll give you an idea. Now I'm going to wash this out and I'm going to do purple and white. Okay. So I'm going to come right in between here. Like if you're in a double loader, you're in two different spots and, and it'll help you control your stroke and blending and shading. We blend, shade, and highlight in each stroke, guys. So that's the, the fun part of this. All right, so over here, I'm going to turn this around a little bit and I'm going to make... Uh, purple hibiscus. In Florida, there's all kinds of beautiful ones, just like beautiful orchids of all kinds. Now, one stroke painting teaches you a lot of flowers and how easy flowers are to paint doing it my, with my technique because I load the brush with all the different paint colors that I want. And multi-loading means sometimes there's three or four colors. So we're going to come over here, and it's okay to overlap another flower. Okay. And more paint than you ever imagined. And see, I, my brushes are made to spring right back up when you want to spring it up, okay? All right. So what's going to be fun here is I'm going to go ahead and put like a little plumeria a little bit more tropical, right? And then I want to put some greenery in here. Each one of these petals are ones that you can learn right on. 
my practice drugs. They're like short. They're 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Okay. So now I'm going to come in here. Let's go ahead and use the 16 because I want to come in here and make some really beautiful leaves. And when I'm doing them, I'm going to have white and I'm going to go between, um, this is blue peacock and teal. Okay. Work it in, work it in. All right. So I'm going to come right down here. My paintbrush is dropping. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. One. Let's get a little medium. It should feel like butter when you're using the medium. Okay. So I'm going to come over here, make a nice point and pull a stem in. Okay, so I need a little bit more citrus or white in here. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. And we're going to come around here. Okay. You want to put some white in here. Okay, so we're going to go right through here. And we're going to put little bits of flowers there. All right. So. Let's get some white. I can right in here. What I, I like about one stroke, if you don't like your stroke, just pick up more paint, paint and stroke right back over it, okay? Um, I'm going to come in here. Look how pretty all those colors are. I'm going to put some purple. All right, we're going to come in here and put some teal. Some blue. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and grab the bud. And stand up, more medium. I'm going to come right here, stand up. And you can come in here and just get some pretty colors by coming here and standing up. See how it picks up the purple, which I think is a pretty thing. All right. Let's get some more medium and come right in here. And let's get a little bit of pink with medium. Okay, so these kind of bright colors. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of citrus right here and some daffodil. Okay, oops, so can you see? All right, so I am gonna come back in here. I'm gonna wipe this off, pick up white, get some of uh, the blue peacock and the tail all right and i am going to put a little bit of white on one side see how i'm going to make the strokes Isn't that kind of fun all right on, on the other side you could do Come right in here and come out. Let's get a little bit of medium. There you go. And it already kind of puts a stem in there for you. All right, you see that? And just some pretty colors. All right, I don't like the way this is looking, so I'm just going to come across here and take that purple in. And just come right in here 
a little bit of that. Okay. All right, so one way to finish this off, I want to bring some. I'm going to put some right in here. All right, and there we go. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, so what we're going to do is I have some too much paint right there. I'm going to put some different colors in here. For one, I'm going to put yellow right in the middle. So let's put some citrus and yellow in the middle of this flower. All right. This one, we're just going to put some yellow dip dot with the handle. All right. But then we're going to do stamens in here. So I'm going to pick up white. Oh, you know, before that, wait a minute. I'm going to come around here and, and put some darker. Like this is, <coughs> excuse me, dioxazine purple. And I want to put some of this bright color in here. And I'm on the chisel edge. And I'm taking just that edge of the brush, the tip of these bristles. And I just go flat and pick up this color. And come in the middle of the hibiscus. Okay. Now what I'll put in the, the purple one is let's go in here and pick up some magenta and we'll put the magenta in the middle. Okay. See, it's going to bring some pretty color in there. And I've got to put the pretty stamens right in the middle. But to get those... You want to come all the way around, and that's in the throat of the hibiscus, so it gives you some pretty color and gives you depth. I'm still not in love with this this one right here, so I think it's because it was the green was so wet, so maybe I should have dried it first. But you know what? The beauty is that you can go in here and clean up anything that you need to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up yellow and white and magenta with this twelve. And let's see if we can go in there and clean this up. There we go. All right, so let's pick it up. White, yellow. And I'm going to go see I went back over there and cleaned it up a little bit. And then come right in here. So we blend shade and highlight with each stroke we made. And we put pressure. So I start here. I put pressure, lift, Pressure and come back. All right. Pressure, lift, pressure, and come back. Okay. So I brightened it up a little bit. You see? All right. Now, this one I'll do. I'm going to take my heat pen with all this is on onestroke.com. And if you're a member of our membership, you get 20% off each month off anything you purchase. I have Facebook Live and YouTube Lives. A lot of them on Saturdays. And I do special deals. I teach you how to use all kinds of one script fit projects. We painted on a show the other day. You better go check that out. So right here and right here. So that I can put the stamen in the middle. All right. So using the teals and the citrus, and I mean, the bright greens and stuff really makes this um, a really nice tropical feel, okay? So I'm going to come right in the middle here. So this one's going to come up here to the middle. I'm going to come back and do a little better, all right? And this is going to go into the middle. So here's the center, all right? So sometimes I get citrus right here and then i come up in the middle of this and then so i get it a little bit bigger at the bottom and then i come right along here with the chisel of the 12. all right so those are the stamens all right and so i'm going to pick up um a liner and 
I don't know. Let me grab another one. All right. Let's see. This is a two script liner. All right. So I'm going to come right here. And sometimes I do these white, but this one looks I like the magenta is going to look better. All right. So I'm rolling that. And this is what you're going to do. I'm going to pull this like a Christmas tree kind of. Okay, so see how I'm coming out from there? And then right here, we've got the top one. Then we're going to come right along here with magenta. We make it, it comes in just like you're doing the shape of a Christmas tree. Okay, guys. Right here. All right, so... I can't put a teeny bit of white in here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going over a little bit so it really stands out. All right, and this is going to finish that all off and give you a pretty look. Uh, I'm going to let that dry just a second because I want to Clean up something. Where are the brushes? Let's get a right here. So to make this show just a little bit better, I'm going to pick up right here. You see that a little bit darker there? And then right here. And pull a stem. Just have fun when you're doing this. See what it looks like to just create some bright colors with this, the color palette that I'm using. All right. All right, so same thing here. Okay, now let's get on here and let's do this dotting. So I'm gonna use thick yellow. And I might can dab it in a little bit of white. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to tap my finger. And we're going to touch the little tips of those by tapping my little finger. Okay, so we can have some white in here. All right, little semen in there. All right, so I'm picking up yellow and white again. I want to take in, you don't have to put it on every stem, but you're going to tap, 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 tap. There you go. Isn't that kind of fun? So just imagine um, this and um, bright backgrounds. I'm just basically want to show you that how quick and easy it is to make a flower using um, our thick, nice, beautiful paint, which is multi-surface paint by Plaid Enterprises. It's a folk art product. And I have my one stroke folk art brushes. And this is a one stroke painting technique and I created it, I'm going to do very and I've been with the paint company for over 25 years, probably 29 years. Well, I just want you to see how fun it is to create a quick and easy. This is a quick and easy project that is fun to learn. And I'm Donna Dewberry. Please come back and watch more. And if you subscribe, make sure when you subscribe, make sure that you Click the bell so that you know every time I'm doing a live and so you can not miss it if you don't want to. And this looks really cute on t-shirts and all kinds of other um, products. So have fun. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.